Oh, that's been a hell of a year. Do you ever wish you could just turn back time? Oh no. This is the story all about how my life goes flipped turned upside down. I'd like to take a minute just sit right there as I tell you all the story of how I lost my hair. Male pattern baldness. Mm. Well, that's not a very good story, is it? Mm. Um, it was a dragon. Yes, there once was a dragon in a cave. Ooh, and uh, uh, um, she was jealous because I was the one in the village with the long, luscious locks, and he had this weird kind of bristly ginger affair up there, and. Uh, one day I went into the cave and I turned to the dragon and the dragon turned to me and he said I am a dragon man and only I may have the lovely hair and then he turned to me and I turned to him and he turned to me and he did the dragon thing with the in the um, but in the end it was okay because we we settled our differences you know we even uh, we even went out for dinner, and um, yeah, maybe we, uh, you know, after dinner we made out a little bit, and um, the weird thing was, straight after our date, all his hair fell off. And in the end it was okay, I just took it all on the chin. Be a joke. So, what's this video all about? Glad you asked, Mikey. This video is all about science condensation. This video is all about science c This video is all about science communication. Bitch. Yes, science. Bitch. But in order to do that, we're gonna have to go back in time again. Oh, Jesus. Nope, before that, here we go. <laughs> here we are, back in the Stone Age. Uh, wait, Stone Age. All you've got in the whole world is food, fire, and water. And as you look around you, you realise that the people of your tribe are almost as filthy as your mum. And then you look to screen left and you realise just across the river, there's another tribe. And this other tribe is just as dirty as your face. But one day you notice something strange in your neighbourhood and there's no one there to call, except your Uncle Bill. And nobody trusts Mr. Murray. We all know he's a massive goat f So you look a little closer and you realise that fat is dripping off of your meat and not off of your thighs. Brenda. The fat is dripping off of the meat, hitting the fire, mixing with the coals, and it's running down into the river. The river starts a bubbling and a frothing all over the place. Now remember, this is way before science, logic, reason, or Google. Way bubbly. So no one knows what's going on. And then you decide, <laughs> completely on your own, you push him in, of your own free will. Yes, push him in, to jump in. And suddenly you've gone from this, to this. You don't just look better, you feel better. So everyone jumps in. Over time, your tribe has more kids, because how could you resist? You also stop dying from stupid reasons. Oh no, is that the rash? Ugh. Oh, I'm okay. That's great, right? Well, yes. I mean, yes meaning no, fine, wrong. The other tribe doesn't have your magic bubbly wobblies, and they're not doing so hot. Oh my god! Whatever god we just made up is... What's that lamp? Is that your elbow? Or my face? Why is this happening to us? Look over there! We look like this. And they look like that. Ah, it must be dark magic. With their bubbly wobblies. And their evil rubber duckies. I have a theory. That's it. It's their fault that we're dying. This means war. I don't 
Ah, la gueule Ah, t'as la gueule Oh Hello <laughs> So, um, what does this all mean? C17H35COONA is a cleaning agent produced with an alkaline metal hydroxide by the chemical reaction of a fatty acid. Chemically, it is a salt made up of an alkaline metal such as sodium or potassium and a combination of carboxylic acids called fatty. Its cleaning action comes from its unique abilities to surround oil particles, dispersing them in water and rinsing them away easily. It has been used as a cleaning agent for millennia and continues to be commonly used as a mild antiseptic and indigestible antidote to certain forms of poisoning, like looking directly at your mum. So, what was all of this about? Well, the answer is plain and ordinary soap. But the point is, which was more engaging, the story or the dry, bare facts? Well, there's a reason for that. Here's something that you might not have considered before, that storytelling and science actually come from a very human desire. That human desire to find patterns. The difference is the method in which they do it. Storytelling is older than science. Storytelling is older than logic, older than reason. But both science and storytelling come from a very human desire. That really human desire to find patterns. The difference is the method in which they try to find those patterns. Science goes like this. Mm -hmm. Nope. Hmm. But here's a piece. Okay. Mm -hmm. No. Nope. Here's another piece though. No, 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 ah, Eureka, sort of, we've got quite a few of the pieces, that looks like a good idea, but storytelling goes like this, uh, uh, aliens, so why is this important now? Ah, What's this? It looks like an end screen. Well, that's because it is. This is a three part video. If you want to get notified about part two and three, you better hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can get notified when they come out. Talking of coming out, next time I might just let you out of the basement.